Team Keep It Clean, let me know if it's just me, and it could be, but I just feel like so much stuff has just been lining up for the Baltimore Ravens, and it just makes sense that this is their year. When does this happen? Where Mark Andrews, who's, who's been super, super healthy throughout his entire career, only missed a tiny, tiny amount of games. He ends up, unfortunately, being hurt for what's most likely going to be the rest of the season. There is still that small outside chance that he comes back. But where does it happen when Mark Andrews is done for the year and a former Pro Bowl tight end just so happens to be released during the Baltimore Ravens bye week? Let's read the report, not from Adam Schefter, not from Ian Rappaport, not from Mike Garofolo, but from J.J. Watt. J.J. Watt, former Houston Texan, but also former Arizona Cardinal. He said, trying new things in retirement, so let's steal Adam Schefter's job for a day. Tight end Zach Ertz has requested and been granted his release from the Arizona Cardinals. The three-time Pro Bowler plans to sign with a contender and make a run at his second Super Bowl ring and he put in parentheses this is easy Adam so a little jab at Adam Schefter right there but anyway in, in what dimension does something like this happen it just doesn't what, how, what type of coincidence is this we lose our starting tight end our pro bowl tight end our all pro tight end the second best tight end in the league we lose him for the remainder of the year and then just well, Zach Ertz just pops up he getting ready to be a free agent now he would have to, and if, if the Baltimore Ravens wanted to make the move, they could either put in a claim for him, but they would be so bottom of, of the, at, at the waiver wire that I don't think they would even want to put in a claim for him because they would have to take on uh, 2.5 mil of his salary. But if he clears waivers, so that means that all 31 other NFL teams, they do not put in a claim for Zach Ertz. If he clears waivers and officially becomes a free agent, then this is actually a move that I do th think the Baltimore Ravens would consider. I really do. Um, because you right now, you have Isaiah Likely. Isaiah Likely cool now. This ain't nothing against Isaiah Likely. This ain't nothing against Charlie Kolar. But you got both of those guys, and they're cool. But if you could add a Zach Ertz, and he, he ain't even got to be the starter. I feel like Isaiah Likely could still be a starter. But Zach Ertz, like this, the timing of this right now, it just lines up so perfect for the Baltimore Ravens because they're on the bye. Say, for instance, you bring in Zach Ertz. If he clears waivers and you bring him in, then you could start implementing the game plan with him and whatnot, implementing him into the game plan. You could have three tight ends at that point, and now you still got folk like on a practice squad or what? But still, this Zach Ertz is a tight end with experience, and not only experience, but I don't know if, if y'all remember or, or you just caught the end of J.J. Watt's tweet, his report, where he said the three-time Pro Bowler plans to sign with a contender and make a run at his second Super Bowl ring. He already got one. So Zach Ertz, he knows what it takes to be a Super Bowl champion at the tight end position. So he has that experience. We would have that experience at yet another position. We got it uh, on offense at wide receiver twice because Odell Beckham Jr. is a Super Bowl champion. Nelson Aguilar is a Super Bowl champion. So they have that experience. They know what it takes. They know the grind and whatnot. And they can help the other receivers get that. You add a Zach Ertz, he knows the grind. He knows what it takes. He could possibly help the other tight ends get that. So, if, in my opinion, this would be a no-brainer. It would be a no-brainer to add a Zach Ertz to the squad. Why not? Why not? What's the worst that could happen? Why not? And I, I know when you look at his numbers from this year, they're a little bit underwhelming. <laughs> but, again, you got to think about his situation. They just literally got Kyler Murray back couple of weeks ago so they haven't had their quarterback for a lot of this year but then a lot of last year too um so with his numbers you we got to think about the context it sort of reminds me of Jadavian Clowney because people will look at Jadavian Clowney numbers all day and all night and be like oh man this guy what will we bring him in for sometimes all it takes is the right situation all it takes is being at the right place at the right time for the right person and in my opinion, I really do believe Zach Ertz should come here. And again, he wants, he wants to go to a contender. He, he was over there with the Cardinals. He said, man, 
I'm so tired of losing. I just like, look, I was in Philly. We wasn't doing this like that, man. We we were doing our thing. We, I was a Super Bowl champ. I came to the car. Ah, it ain't looking like we got a Super Bowl window right now. It looked like that Super Bowl window, it closed before it was even open. So I don't know about that right now. So you, you know what? Please, Cardinals, just just let me go, please. Just I don't want to cause no trouble. I don't want to cause no harm. I just got to get out of here. And Cardinals said, okay, cool. No problem. We ain't doing nothing this year anyway. Look, go ahead. That's fine. So I, I think that Zach Ertz, is, he's just probably trying to go from one bird to another one. But no, seriously, I, I do think that this, like, again, it just lines up for the Ravens. It, it lines up perfectly for the Baltimore Ravens. So we'll see if they end up making a move, which I think they should. Not, and again, I don't think they're going to put in a, a waiver claim for him. But if he does clear waivers and become a free agent, I think Ravens should be all over, like all over that for sure. I know there were a lot of Ravens fans that wanted them to go after Shaq or Darius Leonard. And that would have been cool, but like there, I feel like there wasn't really a place for him. Because uh, both of our linebackers are healthy now. I mean, you could have added him. You could have you worked something out for sure. Because again, this Mike McDonald. He could have worked something out for sure. Um, but with this, especially with what happened to Mark Andrews, it just makes sense. Team, keep it clean. We are at 70,100 subscribers, and I appreciate y'all for subscribing. I appreciate y'all for spreading the word and continuing to help the channel grow. Let's keep on growing. Keep on subscribing to the channel. Turn your notifications on because I do not want y'all to miss any, like, nothing. I don't want y'all to miss a single thing. So turn your notifications, subscribe to the channel, turn your notifications on. But something else that helps out the channel a lot is when you leave a like on the video. So click that thumbs up button because it helps out a ton more than you realize. I love y'all so much. And y'all let me know. I really want to hear from you on the comment section whether you would like for the Baltimore Ravens to do this move or you feel like, you know what, no, 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 no. We're good. We're straight at tight end. We got Isaiah Likely. He coming on strong, and he's going to get more and more opportunities and look more and more comfortable because, again, now, again, like I said earlier in the video, this is not a shot at Isaiah Likely at all. It's not because last week, Isaiah Likely, he looked, I think he had four catches, but he just he looked a lot more comfortable. And that's been the thing with Isaiah Likely. When him and Mark Andrews have been on the field, it's been kind of wonky. It's been kind of clunky and whatnot. It's, just, it's been weird. But when Mark Andrews has been out and Isaiah Likely has been up, he's looked apart. So if, if, if you would be against this move, I get it. I, I, I completely get it. I understand it because you're like, hey, no, we got Isaiah Likely. We want him to have some growth this year. This is a big opportunity for him. This big opportunity presented itself, and he could go out there and keep doing his thing, and he can get better and better for this last chunk of the season. And then you still got Charlie Kohler too. So if you are on that, that vibe, I, I get it. I got no problem with it. But at the same time, you could be somebody that's like, oh, yeah, we got Isaiah Likely. We got Charlie Kohler, but it wouldn't have hurt. It wouldn't hurt to add one more to the room. Uh, or if you're like, you know what? I don't want no part of Zach Ertz. We don't need him on the team. We got enough guys. Out. Hey, I get it. So either way, it's good. But I do want to hear from you all in the comment section. So y'all let me know if you're a fan of adding Zach Ertz, if he clears waivers, or you think the Ravens should just stay where they at.